Hey guys, how you doing? It's Steve, and um, this is uh, saltwater aquarium care, but I want to document our German Shepherd baby, Leia, as in princess. Um, just tell you a little bit about her. <clears throat> I'm going to post a video maybe once a week on her. She is currently, now, for those of you looking at German Shepherd, German Shepherds are awesome. They're incredibly intelligent. All dogs are intelligent, but the shepherds rank really, really high. Another high-ranking, highly intelligent dog is the Border Collie. Border Collies are awesome. And uh, shepherds and Border Collies both are known for herding. They are a herding breed. So if you have little kids, they will herd them, which also can be taken as, you know, knocking them down. But if you run fast, they will chase you. Anything that runs will be chased. Um, when you're looking for a German Shepherd puppy, you know, looks are important, but the personality is the most important. You want to get it from a reputable breeder or someone who knows what they're doing. Unfortunately, there are so many backyard breeders, meaning somebody who has, um, a male and they stud it out for five or six hundred dollars to get someone else's German Shepherd pregnant and then they have puppies they don't know what they're doing and dogs could have issues when all dogs are born it's common for some of them to have hernias so if people don't know what they're doing you might wind up with a sick puppy anyway this girl came from a loving family that raised the pups and the mom and the dad were both on site. Uh, outstanding animals. Now, another thing you want to look for is the temperament. Temperament means how is their personality? Are they laid back? I've seen a lot of puppies where they're just crazy and they bite. Now, all puppies are going to bite. But you want their temperament to be laid back. Now, when we met the mom, Shepherd, her mother, she came out of the house, just huge, romping down the stairs. She went right up to my five-year-old, who's a little boy, and she gave him a bunch of kisses on the face. That's awesome. The family that we got her from, is they were really sweet, really nice people. And one of the conditions was we were to keep in touch with them because they want to know how their puppies are doing in life. I said, no problem. So I've been sending them photos and whatnot. So we got really lucky. I've been looking at shepherds for months. And unfortunately, there are so many places you can get a shepherd at. Um, I wanted to rescue one. And I went to a couple shelters. And every time I got there, the few times I went, the one that I wanted was gone. Um, so <clears throat> pros to getting a rescue dog from a shelter. They were lost or abandoned most of the time. They're excellent dogs. You don't have to house train them. They know their commands. They're already fixed and they're healthy. Um, puppies, however, with the shepherds, they are so easy to train. Leia we got when she was eight weeks old and she's 10 weeks now. She was house trained at nine weeks. She knows to go outside. She goes right over to the door and she cries. She does her business and she's good to go. Now, how did we teach her that? When she went outside and she sniffed around and she squatted to go pee, I chose the word potty. So I would say, go potty. Good girl, go potty, go potty. I would target the act with the word potty, all right? And then I would praise her up like crazy. Dogs love praise, and that's how you train them. Um, so then, when she had to go outside, she'd be at the door and I'd say, you wanna go potty? And then she'd cry, I'd let her out as soon as she did her business. Again, good girl, good girl, go potty, go potty, good girl. And she learned, and now whenever she goes to the door and cries, it means that she wants to go out. Now I wanna show you something um, about her temperament. I'm gonna let her, okay, I'm gonna let her lay down. Now she has a pig ear. Um, it tastes extremely good to her. It's great for her teeth. 
And that's one thing you can do to stop these guys from biting and gnawing on your fingers. Although it may be cute, you don't want to do that because as they get older, if you don't stop it as a puppy, it could be bad. And a German Shepherd gnawing on your finger will do more than uh, leave cute little bite marks. So you don't want to do that. More than likely they'll grow out of it, but you just don't want to risk it. So, you know, we always say, no bite. And you don't say, no bite, no bite. Don't say it like that. Say, no, no bite. You got to be strong and sharp with it. And I just grab her snout gently to give an action with the word. And she's learning. But another thing that we've been doing that really helps an awful lot is we give her something to eat like one of these pig ears or a buffalo horn. Something hard. Leave a bunch of toys that are hard in the kitchen. When we're in the kitchen, she's always out in the kitchen with us. Gated up so she can't get to the rest of the house. She's in the large kitchen on the tile floor in case there's an accident, which rarely ever happens. She's pretty much trained already to go outside. <coughs> We don't trust her outside. That's our other dog. He wants to come in and play with her. Um, so, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, her little cage right there. It's more than little. She sleeps in that. If we're busy and we're going to go to the store for an hour or so, she's in the cage. Or home. We say, go to your home. And she goes in it now. So... How do you cage, uh, crate train them? She's basically always in that cage unless we're in the kitchen with her. I'm with her right now, so she's not in there. All right? I go outside and I play with her. She does her business. We come back in. We're hanging out in the kitchen. I'm playing with her. I'm laying with her. And then the only time she goes in her home is when I have to do some work or I have to run a quick errand to the store. And then as soon as I come back, She's out of the cage and it's right outside. And the rule is, every time a puppy gets done doing something, it's outside to go potty. When they wake up, it's outside right away. There's no, let me make my coffee first. Nope, puppy comes first. Pee first outside, because they're holding it. And puppies can only hold it for an hour for every month that they are old. So when she's four months, she'll be able to hold it comfortably for roughly four hours, okay? So, but she does hold it through the night though, because she knows it's bedtime. So anyway, um, when she's done playing outside, when she's done drinking water and eating outside, and as soon as she gets done going pee, or number two, we praise her up and we take her right back inside. So she understands that you only go outside to pee and you know, playtime is playtime. But once she pees, we praise her up, give the target word, good girl, go potty, good girl, go potty. And then you pet her up really good, and then you take her in. And I usually just go, come on, baby, let's go inside. And she follows me. These guys are shadows, and again, they're highly intelligent. Now, the um, main reason I wanted to film this is I wanted to show you guys her temperament. Um, we had other puppies before from other breeds. Regardless of the breed, we got really lucky with her. Um, she's extremely sweet, and she's got like what's equivalent to a steak bone. She could growl. She could be mean and try and bite. Well, I'm going to put my face right by her and kiss her. She won't do anything. This is a puppy's temperament. Hi, baby. Who's the good girl? Who's the good baby, huh? That's the good baby. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes. Absolutely no growling, no tensing of the face muscles. She gave me a little kiss, and then she went back to biting. This is what you'd ideally want. This is what you want. Now, she's a great little girl. Another thing you can do is just hold her paws, play with them, feel them, because you're going to be trimming these nails. And you want to get them used to you holding her paws. So you want to do all these little things um, starting out when they're little babies. Right, baby? So when I went up to her, I, I, I you know, if, if your dog growls at you, 
you know, you should train them out of that. Okay, give them treats and rewards. They respond to food really, really well. That's how we train her up mainly. I'll show you guys how I trained her to sit and everything else and the other training I'm going to be doing with her. But she's just an outstanding, sweet little baby. And uh, she grew twice the size and double the weight in a week. When we got her, she was 8 pounds. Uh, half a week later, she was 10 pounds. A week later, she was 15 pounds. These guys grow really, really fast. Right, baby? Okay. So, that's it for now. There she is, a sweet little girl. Leia. Hi, baby. You are a sweet babe. Yes, you are. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Any questions you want to talk about your shepherds, feel free to post below. Hope this helped you guys out. Um, any questions, let me know. I wanted to share with you guys one last thing. Leia, come. Leia, come. Sit. Good girl. That's three days of training. She's so smart. So another thing we do, right when she comes in, we've got some of their dog food, kibble. We don't really give treats, we just give kibble. So when she comes in, she has to sit and she gets a little bit of her food as a treat. So she knows, hey, I went potty, now I get something. Nope, sit. Sit. Nope, sit. Sit. Good girl, sit. There you go. Here's Jack, 12-year-old Karen Terrier. Come here, boy. I had a 14-year-old Karen Terrier. I've had her since she was a puppy. I've had Jack since he was a puppy. Um, his sister, Roxanne, unfortunately uh, passed away in October of 2016, last year. One of the worst days of my life. Jack's still doing really well, thank God. He's got diabetes and Cushing's, but we're managing him. He's under really great care by our vet. He plays with Leia really well, even though he's an older guy. She's luckily not too crazy of a puppy. And if she does, we just take her for another walk, and she tires out, and then she's chilled. She's waiting for him. She wants to play. Where'd she go, boy? Where's Leia? Where is she? There she is. <laughs> Baby. Hey, you drink too much water. You drink too much water. You're a piggy, too.